bit Heath Robinson-esque than the camera live. This thing is a miracle of engineering. What they did today was to test fire the rocket that will power the Bloodhound SSC, which is the British attempt at the land speed record. Now, this isn't just an attempt at land speed record. They're going to smash the land speed record by going at over 1,000 miles an hour. Um, it is a miracle of engineering. The Bloodhound SSC project is, has two aims. The first is, quite clearly, to go very, very fast indeed um, and to absolutely smash the land speed record. They aim to at least add at least about 200 miles up, an hour onto it. The second aim, and it's a very real aim, uh, and you certainly get that sense when you talk to engineers here, is they're looking to stimulate enthusiasm, excitement amongst children, amongst school children, and to get a lot more engineers, a lot more scientists. They very much view this project as a flagship, as a championship project that they hope that children will rally around, will be enthused about, and this will generate a whole new generation of, of engineers and scientists. The test today, judging by the cheer that went up uh, from the engineers and scientists, was extremely successful. The aim today was not to do a full test. It wasn't to crank it up to maximum power, but really just a proof of principle. And, and judging uh, by the, the raw, everything went very well indeed. They managed to get the fuel pump up to about 820 uh, pounds per square inch. On the real one, it will go to at 1,000 pounds per square inch. Uh, it generated 14,000 uh, pounds of thrust. Now, these are all very big numbers that don't mean a huge amount. One way it was put to me was if instead of this thing being horizontal, they'd mounted it vertically and fired it, it they could have fired this rocket to a height of 25,000 feet. We were told that the noise that, that the, the rocket produced when it burned was the loudest noise uh, produced, the loudest man-made noise produced today in the United Kingdom. I would think probably the second loudest noise and an indication of how successful it was, was the cheer from the engineers when it was all over. This is Ben Rooney for the Wall Street Journal in Newquay in the west of England.